The time has come. These two Digimon are the ones I really wanted. But I know what they Digivolve into. This one Digivolves into Diaboromon. And this one, if I remember correctly, this one Digivolves into another Digimon I really want. Let's quickly look at them. Or let's go to Digivolve. Uh, yes. All right. Um, uh, am I looking at the right one? I think I am. And I'm pretty sure you guys can probably tell which one I want. I'm just trying to play it cool for the surprise factor. And we want Kiramon, so we really need to level these guys up, which makes me want to do a load. Um, I'm gonna take you. You're gonna get Tokomon. Uh, Sunamon. I don't know if that's gonna be enough. But I'm gonna give them to you for right now. And then try not to give you one of the really special ones. Uh, you're gonna get you. Uh, you're gonna get Betamon. Uh, yeah, those two. Alright. Now, I don't know. You can't digivolve yet, and you can't digivolve either. So, my plan is you take up three memory each. Uh, Repamon takes up eight, and I'm gonna say that Repamon is probably my least favorite of the team so far. I think it looks really cool, but for right now, these both take up three, but if I'm going to digivolve them, they're going to become... They're going to take up more memory, so I'm going to add them to the team. I actually can do that, so they're both added to the team now. We have a little bit of memory to spare for when I can digivolve them. Uh, can I quickly heal? Those two are, might be staples of the team. We'll see how things go. Okay, we're back in in the mode. We're playing Digimon now. We're going Digi, Digi Evolutions and all that. Air them again. Uh, yeah, you can do this. You can do this one, and you can do the last one because you're super effective. And I want to try and remember type matchups. <laughs> so I'm gonna force myself to do type matchups. And we can get Impmon. Luckily, it didn't take too long with the forcing encounters thing. Uh, hey, what's up? Hey, do you have any siblings? I don't have any siblings, just me and my mom. Right now, I live alone. All right. I did not think we could break level three firewalls, so I'm happy we are. I bet something really good's gonna be behind this wall. An emerald. I thought potentially a. Uh, I thought potentially a memory up. Also, we have not run into anything. Oh, because we're going this way, right? Duh. I'm like, we haven't run into the boss yet. It's because we haven't gone through the, ma <laughs> the maze at all. Okay, there's something up there. This looks like what we're going to be dealing with. Hello. <laughs> there it is. Our one and only Baku. From what the looks of it, the kids program has merged into a wild Digimon. This is the thing that the uh, the guy was spouting. It's no use trying to reason with here. The programs erased whatever traces there were left of the Digimon's own sentence. 
So has that guy been erased? Did he get clipped by the ghost guy? Did he get clipped by a uh, by an eater? Digimon are easily susceptible to influences from man-made programs. It's one of the reasons why why some don't consider them to be autonomous beings with their own sense of will. There's no getting around this one. You're just going to have to knock some sense into it. Clock some sense into it. <laughs> Oh yeah, you're a data. We have no, <laughs> we don't have any viruses for you. Uh, I guess we'll see how much damage I do. Uh, that's not bad, I guess. Heavy strike two. Heaven's thunder. Yeah, you're gonna resist that. You're also electric type, so that doesn't help too much. You're data and electric type, so you resist the fact that I'm a vaccine type. Uh, if you're electric type... Oh, I took off my rock... my ground type. I was gonna say, if you're electric type, I gotta defeat you with my ground attacks. But I took him off. There we go. Easy peasy. I'm almost thinking of turning up the difficulty... Because I'm not quite sure if it's just like this game is just super easy. Or if I've over leveled. <laughs> okay, now that you're you're now that that's over, download the data and collect what's left of Baku. Once you're done, get out of there and come back to the office. Um I wanted to maybe stomp by the Digilab game. It's hard to believe that such a little kid would do a heinous crime like that. I'm still shocked. Heinous, huh? I guess I see that where you're coming from. Even if he didn't mean any harm by, by it, what he did certainly broke the law. But that's all in the past now, and we've exercised your account from your little stalker and haunted that haunted it. This cause this case is closed now. We'll be holding on to Baku program the Baku program in the meantime. If we can tune it up a bit, it could very well come in handy. But I still but I still don't get it. Why did he go after me in the first place? <sighs> did neither of you really get why the boy picked on her? In any way, there really, really was no reason after all. Except to say that it was love at first sight. He really liked you, Minaka. Huh? At first, he probably just wanted to go get to know you more with all his heart. But he's, as we saw, he was less mature than he'd like to admit. He wanted to tease and mess with you so you'd pay attention to him. At his age, it's pretty standard mentality towards someone like you, really. Phew, that was so fun. Let's let me help out again if something else comes up, okay? I like it being cool. I think it'd be cool. Pretty cool to be a detective cat Digimon like that. You definitely helped us back there, so you have some of some of my thanks, Pete. Anyways, are you still not able to actually leave the confined Nanako Broadway internet? Intranet? Yeah, I think it has to do with the lo how old the network protocols for the intranet are. It makes it hard to transfer data around. It could be I'm just stuck in the vacuum, stuck to the vacuum tube computer, like how Baku was to that Digimon. Hmm. There's still so much to learn. What Pete truly is, it seems. Is that Pete a cat? Huh? Why do we call Pete Pete? Well, he's a cat. He was extracted from his own little time capsule where he was frozen asleep all the time. Besides, open enough doors and you'll be bound to. Do you really, you really need, do you really need a reason? Unlike the digital world, the real world is filled to the brim with things that have no real reason for being what they are. It's a simple pleasure in life that we're entitled to as humans. Don't sweat it too much. Just kick back and enjoy it. Uh, I pretty, I guess that's a reference to something. All right. Um. Also, I should. I have my guys training, but I really should have them searching for cases. I feel like. That's a thing I should probably have them do. 
because we haven't really been getting a lot of cases. So, I appreciate you guys training and all. But, investigate. Okay. Now, we can Digivolve. Agumon. Okay, I think if you guys understand me, you'll understand what I want. This was one of the this is one of the reasons I got this game. <laughs> Love on. Oh, it's like Terrier Mon, but a little brown and pink one, and I love it. Lopmon is definitely getting a name, and I have a name for it. Ker Keramon is next up on the list. Let's start eating some. Let's start eat some data. All right. Um. Real quick. Going to Digimon. Uh. Settings. Lopmon. Carmel. We got Soul and Carmel. Baby brothers, together forever. And then we got Kiramon. I don't have a name for Kiramon, but this is what our team's looking like for now. Uh, until we can Digivolve Lopmon and all those other guys. Uh, I should have checked if the other guys could Digivolve, but I don't think they can. So, we can check after a couple more missions, I suppose. Done. Beans an important member to the team, so make sure you two get along. Come to think of it, we're out of beans. Pick up some, would you? I used them all up crafting a new recipe yesterday. Don't worry, I'm your bean daddy. I'm so happy I got the two Digimon I wanted. Buy more beans already? I suppose more employee with more employees the supply is up that much faster. Come to think of it, when you head back, why don't you buy some takoyaki from the third floor to go with your coffee? Only a child does not does no more than what they're asked. Go be up and beyond and you'll seem quite clever. Yeah, you say that, but then you're also saying I should... You're telling me to do that, so I'm doing what I'm told. I got the coffee beans for Kyoko. I asked for it. What new horrors will she create from these incredible beans that smell so good? Hey, how's it going? Go. Do you not have money? <laughs> Staring. <laughs> no, let's buy her some. Damn. There's a poster on the wall Yukio was staring at. Nationwide B-level gourmet battle. Our restaurant becomes a culinary battleground. Grated yam ramen. Tuna scraps gizoa. Uh, the famous massive frozen custard dim sum. Looks like that's what Yukiko is looking at. Did I did I hear her mouth water over this? She she did. Her mouth was definitely watering. Nobody's mouth would water over this. She did. Her mouth her mouth was definitely watering. Poor girl hungry. And she's in the freaking office. Oh, thanks for doing the shopping. We were waiting for you to get back. As you can see, a client has arrived. Hello. Konnichiwa. Your mouth water, didn't it? Your mouth water, I know it. <laughs> Your mouth water, I know it did. Hello. 
<laughs> huh? Mouthwatering? What are you talking about? This is our client. Yuko Kamashiro. Hmm. Now then, Miss Kamashiro, what's the matter of a case? What matter of case brings you to us? Okay. I want to investigate my father. I want you to investigate my father. And he's the big dude. Kamashiro. Kamishiro. You mean Mr. Satoru Kamishiro? The former president of Kamishiro Enterprises? Yes. He passed away last year. It was reported to have been a suicide, correct? No, that is not true. My father would never kill himself. Oh. I'm sorry for my outburst. No, there's nothing to apologize for. By the way, do you believe he wouldn't do it? Uh, why do you believe he wouldn't do it? Do you have some proof that he wasn't suicidal? No, I don't. That's exactly why I've come to you. I see, that makes sense. If you want clues, then you may want to start with Makoto Yamashina, whom I had to invest who I had you investigate the other day. He was a researcher for Kamishiro until last year. He left the company around the same time my father died, and then he disappeared. So you believe Kamishina is connected to your father's death in some way? Yes. Even if there's no direct connection, I'm certain he must know something about my father's death. Hmm. So you had us investigate Makoto Yamashina to prelude to this case, then? That was the way... That was a way of... Testing us? That was your way of testing us? Since you've brought another case to us, that implies that we've passed your test. I apologize. There are a few people around me who I cannot trust. Who I can trust. I'm sorry. I'm I, I'm so very sorry for uh, my uh, little ruse. <laughs> I hope such an honest answer is proof that we have earned your trust. We shall investigate your father's death. Yeah, I would love to invest your father <laughs> in <laughs> investigate your father's death. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, please excuse me for a moment. Hello. Yes. No. No. There's no problem. Yes, yes. What? N no, I'm I'm alone. I understand. I'll be right back. Please wait for wait at the head of the office, Miss Ray. Goodbye, Miss Ray. I'm sorry. Someone, something came up all of a sudden. That's green hair girl, right? So it appears peep. So it appears. Please leave the investigation to us. Thank you very much. Goodbye for now. This could turn out to be a really big case. We've got to go all out and solve it. If all goes well, we could expose Kamashiro's past along with the company's inner workings. I should ask Detective Matayoshi for his help. Okay. Alright, let's get started on the case. I'll go over the info on Makoto Yamashina again. While I'm doing that, I want you to head back to his home and pay him another visit. I knew we would come back, that's why. I don't know if we'll get anything new, but... Well, NVNG, I guess. NVNG. NVNG, hmm? No, sorry, never mind. This is nothing important. NVNG is something my father used to say a lot. It was an abbreviation for nothing ventured, nothing gained. My father said something different, though. Something ventured, something gained. I always thought it should be abbreviated to SVSG, but it's a rather elegant or refined expression, don't you think? Well, no need to think too deeply on it. Uh, that would be inelegant. Okay, enough chit-chat. Get on your case for me. Okay. Hello, phone. Friends? Oh, yo, can you shake the cops after... Yo, could you shake the cops after that? Yeah. Alright, okay. Thank you very much for your work on the case. Leave it to me. Did I leave anybody else unreplied? Okay. I wonder if the other is for, like, actual people. Do you have friends in this game or something? I don't know why that would make sense. Okay. I know I just said I wasn't gonna check, but I'm gonna check if my main guys can digivolve. Because they are, like, level 24 now. 
I know we've looked at this like 15 times in the past like three uh, things, but all right, no, no one can digivolve. Carmel can go into Garagomon, Devimon. All right. This one looks interesting. I know this one will look like a Fridgemon, maybe, and this one has like a hat. <laughs> he has like a hat? Caramon can turn into, yeah. We know what we want with Caramon. Right. It's weird now, because I feel like we've digivolved so many things so fast, that's weird that like, I can't digivolve my other things now, but it, it makes it feel a little bit more fun like i don't have to i'm not digivolving everything so fast like, it actually feels like this game is <laughs> has some sort of progression ding dong you're a stubborn one how many times do i have to tell you i don't know anything about game of shiro i why are you call me a stubborn one i literally have only shown up here once you're asking if I've never heard of them. The first I heard of them was from you. No, it was because that. On the news, I think. No, wait. Maybe I heard it from my daughter? Oh, right, yeah. So we literally never told you about it. I don't know. Ask my daughter. Ask Chica. I, I need to lie down. I suddenly feel dizzy. Oh, shit. Chica? She said she was going to Shibuya, I believe. A new single from a band that was going to be available for limited time at Shibuya Records. Shimake. No, that wasn't it. You really must excuse me. Let's go to Shibuya Records in Shibuya to talk to Yamashina's daughter. Uh, So they say you go to Shibuya, but isn't it in the that one area has the record store, like in the building? I'll wander around Shibuya real quick. But I feel like Shibuya was the incorrect thing they're telling me to go to. Unless it's over here. No. I think Shibuya or Shinjuku. Didn't she I think they said Shinjuku. Now that I'm saying that out loud, but I'm gonna Okay, I'm going to Shinjuku, because I think Shibuya, Shinjuku, like, fuck off. <laughs> I know everybody except myself can understand the difference, but I'm a big, dumb English man. I speak the English. Uh... Okay, I knew there was a record star. Star. I knew there was a record star. Uh, at that one place, so I'm gonna go there. That's what I thought it was, where it would have been, but. Hold us. They didn't say that place, so I assumed it wouldn't have been Nanako. Not gonna. Know. I'm just gonna run straight across. Uh, oh yeah, we just need to we need to get to the map. I didn't click that. Okay, it's definitely in here. Definitely in Broadway. If not, then... <laughs> if it's not the place I'm thinking about, then... Uh... We're screwed? CD shop. All right, what am I doing? Please tell me. Uh, cool. It's nowhere to be found. I feel dumb all the time from this game because I never have any clue where I'm going, ever. And it's pretty annoying, but at the same time, I can't help but feel like it's I'm at fault for this 
But at the same time, every game in existence has ways to tell you where you're going and what you're supposed to be doing. And this game seems to constantly never let me know what I'm doing. And Mary's like, come to me if you need help. And then she literally never helps you. So it's like, what's the point of telling me that? Like, it's 100% my fault for not comprehending Japanese names of places being Shinjuku and uh, Shibuyu. Shibuyu? It, like, is it? No, it's not up here. Is it? Not going to be here. And like, I just don't. I don't know. I don't know what to do. This one ain't the place. Okay. I'm pretty sure they said Shibuyu. Like, not Shinjuku. But it literally could be fucking anywhere at this point. Because I have no clue. Shibuya. I'm pretty sure it's Shibuya. They said something about that, but I don't know any record store in Shibuya right now. Did you know that there's an island that has railways? What does that mean? Probably true. That's great. I'm impressed. Keep your compliments to yourself. Okay. Is it somewhere? Like, seriously, where the fuck am I going? Like, why? I love this game, but literally whenever you're outside of the digital world, there is no direction you are given. And it's extraordinarily frustrating. Because I was told to go to a record store. I know of one record store in the entire game and she's not there. She doesn't seem to be anywhere in Shinjuku. Can I talk to the guy again? Like, will he answer the door and be like, I told you my daughter's here. Because I'm not, I have no clue what I'm doing half the time. No. Cool. So I'm literally on my own. I don't want to look this up. I looked up the hackers, at least the first hacker. I don't want to look this up. I want to figure this out. Games should... I shouldn't have to look up how to play the game or what to do. I love that this game has been so much fun. This is the only parts of the game that I despise, is trying to figure out where the fuck I'm supposed to go. Is it in the station? There's a record store. That somewhere, somewhere in the world, there's a record store that exists. Are you fucking kidding me? Of course, it's in a place that we've never been before and I did not know existed. Thank you, game. What's up, Chica? You say you have questions again. We just want to be left alone. Well, what is it now? What about my dad? What about my dad? There's not really much to say. Hmm. Until recently, my dad was a workaholic. He didn't even come home on his days off. But it seems... But he seemed to change more recently. He focused shifted to taking care of his family. I'm not sure why exactly. Maybe something changed in his work? Before I know, he worked for a place called Nile Corporation, but... Shouldn't you be on your way? I don't have much time, free time either. Can I go now? How did it go? Get any useful clues? Well, I wandered around the entirety of Tokyo to find this one girl, and she talked to me for a second. Hmm, the Nile Corporation. I hadn't thought there'd be a connection there. The Nile Corporation. Our paths have crossed before. Detective Matayoshi looked into the company once before. My father was involved in that investigation, too, and he followed up on a hunch, apparently. Okay, you can look into the Nile Corporation for me. You might be able to get some info at the Corporation Pavilion near the Eden entrance. I'll look into the case files and my f that my father and Detective Matayoshi put together back then. Alright, I'm counting on you. Cool, I'm Corporate Pavilion near- The Corporate Pavilion near the Eden entrance. Okay, let's hope I remember that. Because I'm going to bed. Is it your daytime over collecting data? 
I went all over collecting the internet. You don't like Jimmy K's songs, just don't think about him. Just don't think about him, that's all. What? You don't like Jimmy K's songs, just just don't think about him. That's all. I don't know what that means. Am I having a stroke? You don't like Jimmy K's song? Just just don't think about him, that's all. That's not that's not proper English, right? You don't like Jimmy K's song? Just, just don't think about him. That's all. I need to get sleep. Thank you guys for watching.